Hey guys, this is uh, Solomon Jagger again. I'm here to do a quick test of uh, ZBrush 2018 on an iPad Pro uh, using Duet. It's uh, version 1.5.1.4. All right, I've been curious to see how it performs on the, the iPad Pro. Again, this is the, the larger version, uh, 12.9. And let's check it out. So I already have uh, Duet running right here. And I've set it to, uh, it's uh, 1300 by 66 by 1024 at 30 frames per second. And the energy efficient option all right, and so what I need to do then is drag uh, this window of uh, ZBrush, because remember what Duet does is that it ex extends the the interface from your desktop to the iPad Pro. So here we have iPad um, ZBrush and the iPad Pro, and uh, let me get my pencil. All right, here's my Apple Pencil, and uh, let's try something real quick. Um, so let's see, I need a sphere. Six, okay, and looks like I moved my brushes over to this side, and I need light box. Oh, here's an example I've done, but let's try. Let's try a new document. Actually, let me do this. Let me just close ZBrush all together. This will actually give me an opportunity to show exactly how everything works. So move my mouse back to the main interface. Uh, double click on ZBrush 2018. Wait for it to load. Right, and there it is 2018 in all its glory <laughs> we're gonna see if it works on the iPad Pro okay uh, let's close that it's light box I need a simple sphere really all right hide the light box create a sphere and to draw, uh, I switch to a different color, mm, maybe matte cup. Okay, that might be easier to read. All right, so here I am. I'm able to use the mouse and minimize that. Let's drag it over to iPad Pro. All right, and now I can come here nice and I'm using the cable to connect to my machine All right. and I have my Apple pencil okay ZBrush 2018 let's see how it goes all right I'm trying to get something that doesn't have a reflection so I guess I can close the window So one of the key things that they've added is a uh, Sculptures Pro, right, right, right there. And I want to see how it works. First, going to geometry. Uh, we're gonna get a little lower. So we'll start off with uh, this kind of mesh. 
right now the beauty of uh, okay the new feature in uh, ZBrush uh, 2018 was the ability to add uh, detail in localized areas and not z like dynamish everything or subdivide everything and I wanted to see how this performs on the iPad Pro so here we are we are able to rotate and also I've, I'll answer the question of uh, whether this has uh, pressure sensitivity okay so let's start with the clay builder brush and let's see if it's able to actually add detail as they were talking about so localized so maybe I just want to create my name just right here so clay build up so so <laughs> look at that So you see what it has done. So you have detail in this area right here, and that depends on uh, also the size of the brush. So if I take it like really low over here, the size of the brush, and I start to add detail. Let's take it down to that size. can see the detail being added and again the responsiveness is pretty cool now, pressure sensitivity all right Let's zoom in and I'm gonna turn off the polyframing and I'll use the uh, clay builder so people were wondering if this actually has pressure sensitivity so the idea was that if I were to draw something here does it taper off and as I press harder does it get bigger so I'll do that so I press hard and then taper off press hard reduce press hard reduce so there is pressure sensitivity for sure And I'll use uh, the standard brush that might give us a better idea. Increase uh, density and let's do the draw size. So that's a so you see how it tapers off pressure, low, high pressure. So there is the pressure sensitivity that uh, guys have been asking about of uh, <coughs> the iPad Pro with Apple Pencil and using uh, Duet and ZBrush. And this is Z ZBrush 2018. So if I turn on the polyframe, you can see how the detail is in localized areas. And another cool brush that I can use is... Uh, uh, the snake brush is narrowed down to the S. So snake brush will use um, snake hook two, that guy, and we can turn off the polyframing. And this is, guys, you gotta remember this is an iPad Pro. This is not a Cintiq. This is the iPad Pro that I'm able to do all this on. Look at that, and I can twirl. Look at that, and if I do polyframe again, so you can see, so an area like here, for example, where there's no detail whatsoever, I can add a snake hook, and automatically detail is added. 
And so if this were like a trunk of a, a tree, I can then get the clay builder brush, increase the intensity and the draw size, and then start drawing. So adding like some kind of root system. Let me increase the draw size again, like that. So as it gets closer to the area where you want to add detail, you can see how automatically it's adding the detail. And let's decrease the draw size. And you can see how that detail has been added, like right there. And this is an Apple Pencil, people. <laughs> on the iPad Pro. <laughs> How cool is that, right? So, yes. If you have an iPad Pro, guys, and you have ZBrush 2018, it does work. It absolutely works. So, enjoy. And let me see if I can actually do something like detailed here, like a, a face. So, clip build up, size, intensity all the way up so let's create like some that's too small let's increase it all right so if these are eyebrows and mirror is not activated because i don't need it right now nice turn of poly framing so we, when we lower the draw size, then we start to get the detail in there. Intensity. <laughs> All right, and don't forget to subscribe to my uh, channel. And uh, comments are welcome. Um, if you if you have the uh, iPad Pro and you have an Apple Pencil and you have ZBrush 2018, uh, let me know how it works for you. But uh, I mean, this test really does show that it's working perfectly. Thank you. Bye-bye.